Hello everyone and welcome back to the Glosser Channel. The Sack Them All protest was held in Sydney, Australia on the 14th of May 2022. That is one week before the federal election, 21st of May being held today. As this flyer from the event organisers indicates, the protest was part of a coordinated effort across Australia, so the event could be held in towns and cities nationwide. Crowds gathered at Sydney Town Hall on George Street in the centre of Sydney from midday, seen here. Event organiser Christian Mack emerged from Town Hall and began to address the crowd at the beginning of the demonstration march. After addressing the assembled crowd at Sydney Town Hall, the march to Circular Quay at Customs House began. That's a distance of about one kilometre, maybe a little more, from Sydney Town Hall to Customs House. The point or purpose of the demonstration was to encourage voters to select independent candidates or minor parties in preference to the majors. I asked Christian Mack about the size of the audience that had gathered. He said police informed him they estimated a crowd of 5,000, although it is likely the numbers were up at around 10,000 people. <laughs> If the statistics we have are correct, 29% of Australian voters will indeed be looking at independent candidates and the minor parties in preference to the major parties. This means approximately 3 in 10 voters will be looking to the independents and the minors. Here we see the crowd arriving at Customs House at Circular Quay. The protest did not entirely focus on the coronavirus or the restrictions and lockdowns that are attached to such, but coronavirus issues were indeed a part of the overall demonstration. All right. So, now let's be honest. For the last two years, they've put us through a hell of a lot of garbage. Six months ago, this was illegal. Here we see Christian Mack and others addressing the audience. We claim our freedom. Freedom of association, freedom of movement, freedom of religion and freedom of speech. They give and they take away, but the truth is our freedom was never their property. I spotted Ricardo Bosi of the Australia One Party arriving. I did wander over and have a brief chat to him, but he didn't speak on the day. You can't work unless you have two needles. And I said no. And so I made a video and I called it a half-time speech. And my wife begged me not to do it. And so I put it on a little WhatsApp group. And someone in that WhatsApp group said, can I share it? I said, yeah, no. And then that got shared and that got shared. And slowly it appeared on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, combined with over a million views. Last, we have a great chance 
of getting some freedom-friendly party candidates into Parliament. Although it is, of course, unlikely that a minor party or a independent candidate will attain leadership, this does in fact send a message to the major parties. Thanks for watching. Expect new interviews and content soon.